Hey, it's Daryl Webster from Modern Work Mentor. Part of keeping up with change in modern work is leveraging tools like social media. And there have been some changes in the Twitter platform that have caused people to evaluate whether they still want to be on the platform. Today, Meta released their app, uh, the Threads app by Instagram. So we're going to have a look at this. I'm going to go through it as a first reactions and set myself up with it. So I have the Threads app, I've installed it on my iPhone and we'll open it up. Looking very, very much like an Instagram app with the colors and uh, it has picked up that I am already signed into Instagram with that account. So I'll just go through with that. Wonder if it's gonna ask me whether or not I need to sign in with it. Okay, I'll write myself a bio. I'll probably come back to that rather than making you um, watch me type all that up, but let's uh, also choose maybe a picture from the library. Ah, oh, that'll do. Cool. Me on Mount Wellington. Um, we'll, actually, let's see. The other option that I didn't see this immediately, but let's import this from Instagram. Are you sure? Sure thing. All right, so that's made it easier. Uh, I probably, I don't think I have a bio on Instagram, but we'll come back and, and uh, set that up later. Let's go next. I am gonna make it a public profile. I want people to be able to discover me. Uh, so let's go through with that. And there's other people that I have connected with on Instagram that um, I would like to also keep up with them if they move over to using the Threads app. So let's see. Yeah, I mean, that all looks looks like I would like to follow most, if not all of these people. And we'll choose follow all. So at this point, it is how Threads work. It's powered by Instagram. It's part of the Instagram platform and you, you get, you'll get personalized ads. So clearly this is another platform as part of the Meta family to, you know, sell ads and also present content to you. So we're not gonna see too much difference in that respect. Um, Fediverse, so this looks to be also, future versions of threads will work with the Fediverse. That's the platform that the likes of Mastodon and Blue Sky are using. The idea is to decentralize uh, the social media platform so that you can uh, host your accounts on other platforms. So while I'm signing up with my Instagram account today, uh, that I might be able to later on use it in a, a Fediverse way of, of decentralizing the account. By joining Threads, you agree to the meta terms and you would have seen that too when you go to install the app that there are various things it's asking permission to, to have access to. So I'm gonna join Threads. We'll just tap that through. Yes, I'll allow learn of notifications. And we're greeted with a reasonably familiar type of, uh, I guess, feed. Now, there'll be a number of people that have already joined, and I, I believe that um, Gary V, um, various other big names, will be profiled just to show that there's some significant activity on the Threads app. Um, so let's just see how this goes. There are various people that are um, verified on the platform already, and this is probably carrying over the verification from Instagram. Um, so that all makes sense. If we scroll on through, we can see how a thread works. Uh, and here's a good example of it. Now, I'm, I'm not necessarily agreeing with the content or, or what this uh, message is for. I'm just looking at it from a functions perspective. We've got a account here from uh, called Impact. And the thread, you can see the line. It looks similar to Twitter, that we can follow the thread through. We can see that there are 49 replies. So this is a reasonably hot topic already. Uh, let's just jump in, I guess. What happens if I just tap the, the post? So it swipes over to the side, much like Twitter, I can focus in on just the content that this post is about. Um, I can go through and see various different replies to this conversation. So that's all good. Is there a reply to reply? All right, so here we go. We've got a reply from Kimbra Dawn and uh, there are some replies to that. So if I tap into that, 
Um, I can see the original post at the top, uh, Kim, Kimbred Nadorn, and the replies to her post as well. Uh, so that, that's actually working quite well as a thread. Um, likes and the likes. So what we could do with Twitter is we could tap on and see um, if someone had liked or if there were a number of likes to a post. Can we tap and see the number? Yes, we can, we can see who has liked the post and what that was all about. So that makes sense too. That's quite cool. Um, good to see also, and I should have mentioned this earlier, but having video been there as a, uh, a medium, I expect that there'll be that, there'll be GIFs and the like too. Um, so that's all good. Scroll on through, we can see that, well, for one, at the moment there's some limitations on Twitter and how many posts you can read, so I wouldn't expect that to be on threads right now. As we scroll, keep, keep scrolling through, we've got people that I might want to follow. I'm not seeing any ads at this stage. Um, I see some familiar people that I am uh, connected to and, and, that I, uh, and that's on the Twitter platform. Now, I don't follow Jen at Microsoft on um, on Instagram, but for some reason, and perhaps this is part of uh, some of the data that it's sharing and, and understanding that it does see that I am connected with Jen um, uh, via Twitter. So I can at least visit her profile and follow her. That's cool. Actually, let's have a look at Jen's profile, for example. So we tap through to Jen. We can see the number of people that are following. Um, there's some people here that I, I am connected with too. So I can see that um, Hajit is someone that I connect with and follow on Twitter. And uh, here he is uh, as prioritized as someone that I do have in common with Jen. So that's good. Uh, let's swipe that down. Great. Now one thing I do notice here is uh, on threads at least, you've got the threads or the conversations that, that Jen has started. Uh, and we can go over through to replies and see uh, the content that she has replied to as well. I don't have a, a media tab at this point like we do with, with Twitter, so I can't go through and have a look at pictures and videos that Jen has shared at this point. Um, but that's fine. Um, pretty cool. Uh, interesting to see too that, actually I can see there's a hint here to um, how uh, it has made the connection between Jen and I. There is twitter.com forward slash Jen. So that is what it is picking up on. It is data sharing between the Twitter app and uh, the Threads app. So that's made that connection. Now I wonder if there was anywhere that I could just quickly go through and see suggestions of people to follow. Let's have a look at the search page. Uh, so yes, okay, in search it is suggesting people to follow. It is promoting some of the big names out on social media. Um, but I would like to see somewhere in here uh, the people that I may have been following or connected to on, on uh, Twitter as well. There might be somewhere else in the app that will discover that. But at this stage, that's search. Um, if I go through to likes and loves, activity. Okay, so so there are some people that I am connected with on Instagram or on Twitter that have already started to discover me since I've, I've signed in and signed up. Now they may have got notifications prompting to say, hey, Daryl's just joined Threads, uh, but we'll, we'll uh, figure that out as we go. Um, so Susan, yeah, I know Susan, and let's, uh... oh, okay, so this is someone that I've requested to follow. Uh, so Susan has to, uh, approve that uh, as um, as a connection. Uh, what else? Let's go back here. Replies and mentions and activities. So nothing going on, of course, at this point. Um, what about just the basic experience of creating a thread? All right. So tap that middle button to create the new thread. Hey everyone. Full stop. I am trying out threads. <laughs> Always loves love it when uh, there's trouble with trying to go text to voice to text with a New Zealand accent. Um, I am hoping to find people that I was connected with on Twitter. 
Cool. All right. So that's that's our text. Um, how do we attach something? Well, there's a, a paper clip there that I can tap on. Of course, because it's the first time that I've done this, it's going to ask permission to access uh, my Photos app. So we'll allow that. And we can find photos and there's videos there as well. So let's just share a couple of pictures there. Nice one. Uh, I probably could just test out the limit. I wonder how many pictures I can add to to this. Let's just go back and wipe that because there is a limit on Twitter for four pictures or videos and um, in recent months Twitter have allowed you to have a mix of media so you can have uh, photos and videos in the same uh, tweet but uh, let's have a look at what we can do here. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, so there's quite a few. I know these aren't going to be great to, to actually be part of a post, but what I might just do is just add a couple of things here. Quite a few pictures. Yep, now did I include, I didn't include a video. Let's just try that one more time. I want to see if I can do that mixed media. So we've got me, me, oh well, we'll throw that video on as well. And then, yep, so we know that we can do multiple um, attachments. It does say at the bottom, I should have noticed this before, select up to 10, uh, so that's cool. That is a definitely a, a plus um, over what we are limited to with Twitter. Okay, and I can see that that's going to be there. Now it looks like I can tap a button there to limit how many people can reply. So anyone, people who um, follow me or people that I've mentioned, we'll just leave it to anyone at this point. What about hashtags? Let's see if we can do a hashtag to something, I don't know. Uh, Auckland doesn't seem to be a hashtag of any kind so no linking through to topics we won't know really until I post this but I would have expected to see some kind of hyperlink or, or sorts so that I could post on a, a particular topic and see how that works out um, can I add another another conversation to this so that's something else we can do with Twitter. We can queue up and, and author a number of different posts within a thread, um, and then we can post them all at the same time, so it just does thread them. Uh, there isn't really any indication as I start to type in this post, uh, is there a, a limit to the number of characters or words that I can put into a post? Uh, I'm not gonna necessarily, well, let's, let's do that. Let's just see if I can just throw on I might do this as, as a reply to this post, but I want to just throw on the, the voice to text and start to talk and annotate, um, or rather just dictate and see how, how it goes. So I'm just going to post this, see how this works out. So it will take a little while because there is a, um, a video to upload and there's a few pictures that are reasonably high resolution. But, but what I am liking so far is that it's pretty similar. It's quite uh, familiar too in terms of um, adding content to the conversation. Uh, so that's all good. Um, what does view do when I'm posting? So can I, okay, so I can see the post and there it is. Cool, it's posted. Uh, there is, look, it looks like there's the concept of being able to repost so we won't call it retweet on this platform, will we? Uh, we'll repost, we can like. Um, it looks like we can also, okay, this is where the integration with Instagram comes in. I can add it to a story, I can post it to my Instagram feed. Um, but I'm already liking how this uh, definitely augments what we can currently do in terms of messages and conversations in Instagram. So this may actually breathe new life into Instagram by having this 
Threads application alongside Instagram. That's good. Um, let's just go back a bit. Uh, I wanted to see how many words I could could add into a into a post. So let's just see if we can come up with something here. Uh, hey everyone, I am testing out to see how many words I can add to a post. Full stop. This is a reply to a thread. Full stop. So far, I think I'm up to about 200 characters. Full stop. I am not seeing any warnings yet of reaching a limit to the post. I could probably keep talking for an hour and see how long it will take, but I think this is not very interesting viewing for a video. However, I think that I have so far proven that I can create quite a large post and it is not showing any sign of limitations yet. Hmm. Not bad. Slight delay there with, with posting the words, but um, that's to be expected. Not bad, okay, cool. Uh, so going back to the feed, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, that there, there is just the one feed. I'll swipe down, I can see content, it's going to be there for me to interact with. So I should have noticed this earlier. If there's someone here that I'm following, then uh, it's going to, of course, show what they have interacted with. And so that will help me to see, is this a conversation I might want to join in? That's, that's one of the strengths of social media. Um, what's Kevin saying here? It would not make me sad if this killed Twitter. I agree, Kevin. Kevin? <laughs> oh, good old voice to text. Let's just clean that up. Doesn't need to be part of this demo video, does it? And thanks for being part of my demo of the Threads app. Cool. Um, so going back to what's in my feed, there isn't a, a difference in the way that I view my feed at this point. I don't see uh, people I don't know, that are on lists. Um, there's no kind of prioritization that I can see um, or any way of filtering this. It's just going to be people that I am following um, and also it would appear people that Threads wants to promote. So I, I don't know Nicoletiotti, I don't know her, but um, that's all good. Now I did feel something here. There seemed to be a notification that came through but because I'm presenting uh, I've got it in sort of a, a mode where I'm not uh, allowing notifications um, again it felt like there was a notification there no nothing there at this point so I'll leave the notifications turned on and, and take myself out of focus mode and see if anyone does reply I do have something here in, in the heart or love okay so there is a limitation here of 500 characters um, that Kevin has noticed. That's cool. Um, we get to see that, but, but that's cool. 500 is plenty for a conversation. Uh, but if there is something that you want to say that's a lot longer than 500 characters, doesn't look like it's something you can queue up like you can on Twitter and just you know, post them all. So that's, that is interesting. Uh, what else can we say? People are using Twitter um, mannerisms to show that this is a thread. Here's a favorite thread puns go. So conversation there. I want to see who this person is. Is she uh, someone who works at threads or meta? No. Seems to be quite active in terms of trying to drive it. Rod Trent. Yep, so I, I have uh, followed him in the past on on Twitter, so it is interesting. It is picking up on 
certain people that that are um, of interest to me and in the, in the topics and people that I like to follow. Uh, any other suggestions here? No, they're all kind of, they're all verified type people and promoted people. Again, I feel like there, there is a notification, but there's no, um, there's no pop-ups at this stage. I, I know that, here we go. Uh, <laughs> so Kevin um, is, is following me uh, when I'm having conversations around Microsoft Loop. Um, so he's uh, at mentioned me in a post. Um, I won't go ahead and answer this in particular, but uh, that is one way that he's doing it. Now it actually brings up something here too, that when we create a tweet on Twitter, if you start it uh, with a person's name as a mention, it does limit how many people can see the, the post itself. And so one of the tricks that we used to use on Twitter was we put a full stop before the person's name and we would, uh, that would, would mean that anyone who was following Kevin, for example, if he did it on this post, they would also see that post. Uh, and I think it was even more open than that. If, if you put that full stop before the name, then even if you weren't following, it would, it would appear. Um, but yeah, by mentioning someone, and uh, this was on Twitter, it would limit and, and only show to the person that was mentioned and people who uh, were, were um, following, on, on, um, following Kevin. So interesting. So what I'm not seeing is the push notifications. And it might be that I missed a step or there's some setting in there that because um, I went through and, and rushed the the setup process that I'm not seeing push notifications. Uh, maybe I'll just go into settings and into notifications and see if there is, here we go. Go and find threads. If there's something that I can adjust that didn't get picked up. It could have been that it picked up on my notification settings for um, for Instagram threads. So to me, it looks like I should be getting notifications on screen. It might just be a hangover of me um, being in a, a notifications off um, state because I've got a presentation mode. And I'm also recording this on, on a screen sharing application as well. So, um, I would expect that after I finish that, that there will be notifications that appear and that it'll appear in my, there we go, notifications. Sonia Cuff. So again, another person that I am connected with on Twitter. Looks like it's all happening. What else do I want to see here? Um, I've seen my profile, so that's cool. Uh, we haven't had a look at um, anything else in here in terms of settings. So that's going to be interesting to, to take a look at too. Um, they're all familiar in terms of Instagram type settings, notifications. Cool that I can pause them. And I can do that from the app. Um, let's just see if there's any. Cool. So I do like this option within an app to be able to pause notifications for a period of time. If I'm in a conversation which is getting really, really busy, uh, or I just want to pause notifications for a period of time, then, then I can do that within the app. I'm also able to do that from the iPhone settings as well, but that's, that's good to see. Notifications for threads, I can tune that down to say I'm not really interested in getting likes from people that I, I don't follow. Um, various different things that I can tune here, so that's all good. What else have we got? follows and followings. So there's yeah, lots of different things I can tune in terms of the notifications uh, that I might want the Threads app to, to tell me about. Follow and invite friends. Let's just drop into here. So it is going to leverage your connections uh, and people that are in your contacts uh, based on other meta applications, WhatsApp and, and SMS. Um, I've actually stopped using Facebook uh, but I've continued to use Messenger and Instagram, so uh, it's, it's good. I like being able to have that quite separately, um, and I, I find that uh, at least I can continue to use the applications. 
that, that matter to me. I'm actually really liking this Threads app. Uh, what else? Privacy is going to be important. So do take a close look at your privacy settings here. Uh, I imagine that if I had uh, set up and, and asked the app to not um, share information or, or um, yeah, there's, a, there's a, a couple of privacy settings within, within iOS that I can tune and, and say, uh, that, that uh, it probably will limit how this app works. So I might just experiment with that a bit and, and come back and do a follow-up video. Uh, I can make my profile private. All right, so I won't do that because I'm just starting and I want to connect with people that, that may be switching from Twitter. Uh, there are muted words or muted people, that's cool, hidden words. So these are offensive words and phrases. I can turn that on and it will hide the thread, the post on threads. Uh, and I can actually also manage a custom list. So that's cool too, if there's a certain conversation that always mentions uh, a certain word, maybe um, you know, you're, you're not interested in a certain technology like um, generative AI and you wanna block that, that word or phrase, then um, that's cool, you can block that or make those words hidden. Um, great. So yeah, there's a lot more there to, to look at. Uh, good to see that they do have help within the application. So that'll take you off to help on Instagram. Good, I might just finish on that too as part of this video that is something that we can uh, take a close look at to learn about threads, creating a profile, starting, starting a new thread all the things that I've just walked through and showed you, but it's good to see that it is covered. Um, and in the usual style of no screenshots, it is just icons to lead you through that process. So there is specific help there too for different things. Done. Very cool. Well, um, it's all happening. Uh, and it looks like most people that I'm connected with are starting to use threads. Um, so I wonder if there'll be other ways for me to reach out to people that are on Twitter that, that want to um, connect with me on threads and see how that works. But all up, this is, this is working out pretty well. Um, I will check that out uh, over time, see how this works out in terms of how uh, to engage in threads. All looks very, very straightforward. Uh, I would like to see though a few different ways to be able to filter and um, connect and show with people. Um, interesting to see like little hints there in terms of how popular a thread is. Uh, it is, yeah, I mean it's early days, but, but you do see enough uh, of the uh, information about a post to determine its engagement, you know, replies and likes, which makes me think though too, if I go back to my own post, um, and I can see if I go into here, two replies, one like, um, no analytics. What's under the three dots? Well, I can see who can reply and I can hide the like count. So that can be useful. Um, but nothing there in terms of <laughs> nothing there in terms of, of analytics uh, to see how many people have viewed it, uh, that sort of thing. Again, early days, uh, but really interesting. So that is the Threads app. Um, I like it. Um, I know that people will have certain questions around, you know, is this a, a good thing to, to join an, another app that is under the control of Meta? But I th it looks like they've done a great job and it's really down to you to make that personal decision for yourself uh, about how much information you want to share. Uh, look, we're not seeing a lot here in terms of advertising. Maybe that's not something they wanted to show a lot of on launch day, but um, I would expect to see because this is going to be an app that's part of the, the Meta family that you will probably start to see ad, ads every 
four or five posts like we do uh, with the Instagram app. I think it's every three posts on that one, isn't it? Whew. Well, that's it from me. Social media is important to me at Modern Work Mentor. And if you want to follow me on the threads, um, maybe I should have kept the same username. Maybe not. I can probably change that a bit later. Uh, but I do want to keep it all, all the same and connected with, um, with my Instagram account. So it is Daryl C. Webster on threads. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.